All right, so Boeing is finally going to launch their Starlink uh, spacecraft tonight, actually, in a couple hours from now. It'll be the inaugural launch. They have two, two astronauts on board. They're going to bring them up to the space station. So effectively, maybe the space race is on. NASA's getting back into it with Boeing. So uh, yeah, uh, a few different players. I'm going to read this article here. This is CNN, so uh, we know what I think about the clown network here. But uh, let's see what they have to say about this. Boeing Starliner is hours away from launching two astronauts on long-awaited mission. Here's what's at stake. Uh, okay. So two NASA astronauts have reached the final hours before a long-awaited launch attempt aboard Boeing Starliner capsule, marking the first crewed mission of the brand new spacecraft. Starliner, which the aerospace giant designed to rival SpaceX's prolific Crew Dragon capsule, excuse me, is set to take off for its inaugural crewed test run at 10:34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Space Force Station. I like how they put that in there. NASA will webcast the event in its channels beginning at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Monday. CNN will carry live updates of the mission online shortly before uh, liftoff. Weather or technical issues can always force a rocket launch to scrub all the way up until the, the countdown uh, clock re strikes zero, but the forecast for this evening is as good as it gets. Weather officials have said there's a, only a 5% chance that clouds, winds, or storms will interrupt tonight's takeoff. That's good. Usually, it's a lot higher than that, and... They've they've actually right in the last minute have canceled uh, launches. So, you know, there's two people on this thing, so you want it to be safe. This mission, dubbed the the crew flight test, could be the ma the final major milestone before NASA deems Boeing's spacecraft ready for routine operations as part of the federal agency's commercial crew program. The Starliner would join SpaceX's uh, Crew Dragon in NASA's push to collaborate with private industry partners expanding the United States' option, options for ferrying astronauts to the International Space Station. The mission crew members are veteran astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, each of whom has ventured to space on two previous journeys aboard NASA's space shuttle and Russian Soyuz missions. Uh, they're checking out a lot of the systems, the life support, the manual control, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said during a Friday news conference. That's why we put two test pilots on board, and of course the resumes of Butch and Sonny are extensive. This would mark only the sixth maiden voyage of a crewed spacecraft in U.S. history, Nelson noted. It started with Mercury, then with Gemini, then with Apollo, uh, the space shuttle, then SpaceX's Dragon, and now Starliner. Williams will also become the first woman ever to, uh, to join such a mission. What to expect? If all goes to plan, the crew will board the Starliner capsule and lift off atop uh, on an Atlas V rocket Monday night. The spacecraft carrying the astronauts will break away from the rocket after reaching orbit and begin firing its own engines. The Starliner will spend more than 24 hours gradually making its way to the space station, where the vehicle is expected to dock at 12.46 a.m. Eastern Wednesday. Okay, so what's this say? Boeing versus SpaceX. Okay, much is riding on a smooth test, test flight. NASA has been waiting half a decade for Starliner to begin flying crew, and the development of Starliner was beset by years of delays, setbacks, and blunders. More broadly, Boeing as a, company, as a company has suffered years of scandals in its aircraft division that have tarnished the legacy aer aerospace giant's brand. We got through a pretty rigorous process, uh, process to get here, said Mark Nappy, Vice President and Starliner Program Manager at Boeing. It's the development process during the Friday briefing, and, we, and, really, uh, and really where my source of confidence comes from is going through that process. If successful, the crew test flight could queue up Boeing to begin flying routine trips to the space space station on NASA's behalf. So this gets them in the race. That's about it. That's about all I can take the CNN article. But hey, that's cool. I mean, this is kind of heating up. If you're into this kind of thing, and you know, you should be. This is you know, space is the is the next frontier, right? If you know, if you believe we can actually travel through space, um, it's nice to see other companies get in there because. The more they get in, if it's just one, if it's just, you know, SpaceX or even um, uh, Blue Horizon, the other one, uh, uh, Bezos' uh, little company there, if it's just those two kind of fighting fighting for it, it's, you know, doesn't seem to be as legitimate. When you start getting other players in there, like NASA's now got Boeing going up there for them, it, you know, it adds a little bit more legitimacy to it. So this could, I think it's a good thing. I don't know. I, I want to see us up in space. So let me know what you think in the comments.